Howdy folks, very sad day at Newton Airlines. We've had a bit of a calamity here with the wonderful Sky Surfer X8. I had an attack of dumbness and flying FPV. I flew out over the park behind me that you saw in the review video. Beautiful day, beautiful view, suddenly lost FPV signal and I don't have a return to home on this yet. Totally lost sight of the plane. And the problem was that it was uh, blocked by those high pine trees behind me. Anyway, I'd basically given up on the plane. I thought I would never never find it. Uh, so I packed up and started driving home, driving down the road that goes through the park, and uh, I glanced over at a football oval. There's a group of elderly gentlemen standing around this white patch of foam on the ground, and there was the plane. Uh, so I pulled up and walked over to them, and uh, straight away uh, I asked, did I hit anyone? Was anyone hurt? And they said, no, no, we were just walking past and saw the plane in the middle of the football oval and uh, decided to <laughs> go and check it out. So I was extremely lucky that I found it again, extremely lucky that it landed in the middle of a football oval, n not even near anyone at all. A valuable lesson. So I thought I'd better use this experience to uh, look at what happens when you crash a plane. It was a bad crash. I'm pretty sure it was a vertical high speed crash straight into the ground. So what happened first off, it's uh, dented and punctured my flight battery. So that's going in the bin, it smells funny too. That's a dangerous battery now. So I'm going to uh, clip off the leads, put it in a, a bucket of salty water and let it discharge totally and throw it away. The biggest tragedy is that uh, I had the Mobius on board, recording on board video and it would have been wonderful. It also had some of the review video on it too, so uh, that was disappointing. Uh, the Mobius doesn't work anymore because it also ruined the Mobius battery internally there. It jammed into the back of the lens. Didn't realise until later on the SD card had ejected and I never found it again. So that footage is lost. That's a tragedy, absolute tragedy. So my beloved Mobius has gone too. I've straight away ordered another one because this is my favourite onboard camera of all. Love the Mobius with the C lens. I've actually ordered a Mobius with a D lens, which is a, an updated lens, so that'll be interesting to, to see how that goes. Uh, I can still use that C lens on other Mobius cameras anyway, so um, that's still good. Rip the antennas off my FR Sky receiver, but that's not a drama because they just clip on. Again, I've got some spares of those. I'll just clip on new antennas and that will be absolutely fine. It broke my little FPV backpack, ripped the plug out of the transmitter. I think that may still be okay though. I've still got to uh, check that out, test that. Uh, ESC will be fine. Now let's look at the plane. I picked up all the bits of foam and although it looks terrible, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to put this back together and that's what I'm going to do in this video. Uh, let's look at some of the other damage. It's wrinkled along the wings at the front, so that will have hit the ground at high speed, I think. Split it open along here. It's torn the ailerons, aileron hinges off, pulled the servos out of the wing and left a little bit of a rip here. Would you believe the control horns are still attached? They survived the crash, no problems at all. Uh, something I have to check now are the servos. I had Metal Gear servos in the wing, so I expect they will be fine. But I have plastic servos, plastic gear servos in the elevator and rudder, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be stripped. So I'm just going to test them now uh, with my little servo tester. Wings look fine, tail looks fine. That's all. That's all fine. No problems at all. Motor, motor will still be okay. These are the two aileron servos. Let's uh, test them first. Nothing wrong with that at all, that's, that's undamaged. Same again, no problems at all, working fine. Plastic gear servos in the tail, can guarantee these will be stripped. There you go. You can feel that's not working properly, that's, yeah, that's, shaft is coming out there. That one's stuffed, and the that is a stripped servo. That's not operating at all. Listen to that sound of a stripped servo. So they'll have to be replaced. There's the canopy hatch. Look how that's all folded up. All right, let's get to work. Put it back together.
Here you can see what I did with the motor mount. I just sort of filled in that space with some packing foam there. A uh, nice big disc of plywood. This motor is a uh, 22.8 2600 kV. It actually came from the Wing Wing uh, Z84. It's actually a, a dodgy motor, so I'm going to have to change that for another 2200 or something like that. I'll have to find another suitable little motor. 